What's going down, everybody, and welcome back to the Altered Art tutorial series. Today, I've got a little bit of a tutorial based on popular demand. We've talked a little bit in previous tutorials about my gold paint marker and the really fine micron markers, but today we are covering every other kind of marker that I use. Now, a couple things to, to start off with here. I've got regular old artist loft markers right here these are just like from michaels or whatever and they're not really expensive but they are paper markers they're for paper so here i have two cards and i chose these two cards because there's a dark spot on both of them and a light spot on both of them and they've got big washes of just flat color in in where the text box would be so i've got this regular marker and i'm going to use the big fat point on it and I'm going to show you that these have so much water in them. They're water-based markers. They don't, they don't really color and cover very well. And you'll see what I can do with these really highly water-based markers. Look at, I can just wipe the paint or the, 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 the marker color right off. And these are not what you want to use. If I got my finger a little bit wet, I could get 100% of this blue color off of this, off of this card. And uh, if we wanted to use those exact markers, we could probably hit these with some like 2000 grit sandpaper and, and rough them up a bit and, and take a little bit of the texture off. But usually with marker alters, Sharpie alters, paint marker alters, like what we're going to be talking about today, you just do them on top of the art, the text box. You just do them on top of the card and there's no blending and there's no trying to hide stuff. You just do them all on top of the marker. So I've got another one here. This is a Prismacolor Premier marker and this is like a pretty high-end marker. These are pretty expensive. People who have like Prismacolor markers and, and Prismacolor products know that these aren't cheap. So we're going to try one of these. And it covers better, and I won't be able to wipe that off. And you can see the marker over the light and the dark, but when I hold it up really close to the camera so you can see, maybe you can see. Anyways, these don't actually cover the art behind behind the, the marker. You, you can still see what's behind there. And maybe that's a cool effect that, that you might want, but most of the time you're going to want to be able to cover the 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 card underneath as best you can you can still see that little red mana symbol right at the top there a little bit you can still see it so even though these are high-end markers they don't cover what you want to cover very well so let's go to the next thing then this is the most common type of Thing. And this is, I think, where they got their name. They, I mean, they had to have because these are Sharpies. And everybody's heard of shar Sharpie Alters. And they they come in a variety of colors. They come in gold and red and black and blue and brown. And every color you can get Sharpies now. And I'm here to tell you that just like this expensive Prismacolor marker, Sharpie Alters aren't going to cover the differences in card brightnesses you're still going to be able to see through them they're not opaque they're they might be dark and highly pigmented but they're not opaque they're still translucent you can still see through them enter metallic sharpie these metallic sharpies are pretty pretty opaque pretty they cover fairly well cover up all this basic land type line there they, they cover pretty well and you're not going to be able to see through them very good and they go over lights and darks fairly well but I find that they don't last very long I find that I'm going through sharpies quite quickly if I like I'll take one green sharpie to a magic fest and it'll run out if I sign a few cards and do a few doodles so as far as cost effectiveness goes with sharpies you can see this green one's already starting to lose a little bit of its luster. And I mean, you can give them a little bit of a shake like this and, and they'll maybe explode a little bit, but they don't last long. But you can see they do cover reasonably well. They do an okay job and you can get them 
mostly like these ones come in this regular Sharpie tip, but you can get Sharpies, of course, that are huge fat guys, and you can get like the really super fine tip Sharpies as well that let you do pretty fine work. But if you're doing super fine stuff, I mean, go back to that other tutorial I did with the Micron markers, and I'll link that or, or put a card up in the corner that you can click on to find these markers, because this is what you want in terms of fine marker work. This is this is what you're going to want. Now, we've scribbled all over these with a couple different kinds of markers and nothing works really great. The Sharpies were okay, but they, they seem to run out quickly. What I would recommend, the number one thing that I would recommend is a Posca marker. And these are actually a paint marker, so you have to shake them and then you have to depress the tip. But these have a variety of different kinds of tips. This is a relatively fine one, but I've got an even more fine one right here. And they've just got a few different kinds of tips, so you just have to make sure that you, you know what you're getting. And you'll see, give it a little shake, you'll see that these cover excellent. I'm covering dark blue marker with white paint. That's what I'm doing there. And they come in any color, like here's a pink one, here's a blue one, here's a red or a purple one. I've got red, green, you can get yellow. Sometimes you need to do multiple coats, but usually you can get away with one quote, coat if you're just doing like a little doodle type of altar. And uh, these have a great range because you can use them like paint. And you can actually, before this dries, you can actually hit it with a paintbrush or hit it with some water. And then you can actually paint with this stuff in addition to to coloring it and you can see that it covers good it comes out quickly it goes over all the different things and sure it doesn't cover a hundred percent perfectly when you go over like the black and the red and the other blue but this is light pink and I, I could hit this with another coat and I would be very satisfied with it and again they come in many many colors and you can do all kinds of stuff with them and I've got a couple here that I've done just as practice pieces to demonstrate kind of what you can do. So the first one I've got here is a sigiled starfish. This is a this is a Patrick from SpongeBob sigiled starfish that I did with my green, my pink, and my purple Posca pens, just like I did here, but two coats. And then to line it, I used the 005 micron. These four markers made this altar. And if you like this kind of cartoony, high color, almost like a meme altar, this is what you need. Sorry, and I used the white for his eyeballs. So those are the things that I used to do this. I've got another one here, a little bit less meme -y, a little bit more artsy. This is a Maw of the Obsidat with a, kind of just a slimy looking skeleton with his eyeballs coming out. And this was done with purple, green, pink, white. And then I used a combination of just various black markers to uh, to do the black shading work. Now, the only criticism I have of Posca pens is that black marker doesn't really go onto them very good. You'll find that these really fine tip markers jam up with, with cruddy paint because the Posca pens kind of, you dig into them a little bit with these markers because they're so fine and so sharp. But in all, the Posca pens, excellent product and a variety of colors, a variety of tip widths and tip types. You can get like a brush type like this one. You can get the tip type that's got like, it's almost, it almost looks like a cupcake icing extruder. You can't see it on the camera very good, but this isn't a brush tip. It's actually plastic and, and paint just comes out of it when you press it down. And they're cleanable. You can, you can clean them off and they last long and they're not too expensive. These are a few bucks each just like a, a colored sharpie pack might cost you like if you want gold silver bronze black green red blue in the in the metallic sharpies you might spend eight or ten or twelve bucks depending on where you go these little posca pens are are a few bucks each but if you like this kind of stuff or if you like these kinds of meme altars these are great and you just do an experiment with what kind of tips work best for you and what colors you want to, to do. Like I wanted to do a green and pink skeleton, so that's what I did. Again, I don't recommend anything, any kind of traditional marker. Not that this Artist Loft marker from Michaels is a bad marker. It's a great marker, but it doesn't have the right kind of ink or paint inside of it to be able to go onto a magic card. It'll just rub right off.
and you'll end up like my fingers here. So I hope this was beneficial. I hope that you learned a little something. I hope that you liked the couple altars that I showed off. Give this video a like. You can subscribe for more altar tutorial. See you next time.